always get it with uh, chicken strips and then uh, a cheese quesadilla. Sure, what else for you? Oh, that's it. Sounds good. Your total's gonna be 1867. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> good morning vlog. We are currently crossing over the bridge into Northport. Um, me, Ava, and Madeline are going on a little adventure. So there's a little backstory to this road trip, day trip, whatever you want to call it. One day we were at Nick and Wilson's and it was at the prime time when that Helen Keller TikTok went viral about, what was like the TikTok even about? There was a TikTok that like, went viral and made this like conspiracy theory about Helen Keller like viral I don't know like it it like blew up this whole conspiracy about her and like how she wasn't actually deaf and blind or something I don't know but we ended up talking about it with our friends and they told us that she was born in Tuscumbia Alabama and I had no idea that Helen Keller was from Alabama and I thought that it was like really funny because I was like oh my god no way like who would have thought I don't know I don't know where I thought she was from but I, I don't just know didn't where think I, did I just didn't think Alabama so I was like oh my god no way that's so funny like we have to go we ended up figuring out that it is two hours away from Tuscaloosa so we are going right now this Saturday afternoon we all had quite an evening and we're having cookout for breakfast for all the people in the north watching this we don't have cookout and i'm telling you I, I don't know what we have to do to get a cookout up there but it's the most amazing fast food place in the world it's like six dollars for this all this food i'm telling you it's amazing um i'm going to make the announcement right now that i would sell my soul to have cookout <laughs> up north thank you but yeah so we are going to visit Helen Keller's hometown and investigate. I guess investigate the TikTok drama, the TikTok conspiracies. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in Tuscumbia. <laughs> okay, so it has been like two hours. We're apparently 12 minutes away. I have to be honest, I don't know what to expect at all we literally just like decided to go last minute um so we don't even know what to expect like i don't even think did anybody research this before we went uh, no no okay i mean show them what we're looking at right now there's literally nothing around us no but there's literally nothing pretty. around us it's oh, wait, gorgeous Okay, so yeah, we really don't know what to expect. It's now like four o'clock because we woke up so late and everyone was just- For reasons unknown, we woke up late. <laughs> it's a secret. Anyway, none of us know what to expect. Literally none of us researched this town or what is here or anything about Helen Keller. So yeah, and we were all just talking about it. it what it really comes down to because we were all laughing because Madeline's mom was like, is this fun for you guys? <laughs> and we were like, yes, this is fun for us because we are getting out of Tuscaloosa and it's just like- We're exploring the state of Alabama. That's what we're yes. doing. We're exploring the state of Alabama and like this genuinely isn't about Helen Keller more so I think it's about it gave us a reason to a have... reason to leave and like yes. explore something yes. um we have no idea what to expect but I'm very excited because I get to see a new part of the state that I'm living in and it is already quite different from Tuscaloosa so I'm very intrigued where have we been so far Sitco. we've gone to Mobile okay so wait so far in Alabama, we've obviously been to Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Birmingham, Mobile, and now Tuscumbia. I definitely feel like we've been somewhere else though, but I don't know. Um, well, if you want to go Northport, you drove through East Alabama to go to the to go home, but I guess you didn't really like stop there. Yeah. You said we're close to Tennessee. Yeah. Oh my God, I got. I actually, Florence is in the corner to. Mississippi in the west and Tennessee on the north. So it's like we're we're actually approaching a tri-state area. <gasps> Ooh. Fun. 
there's a Canes in Mississippi that's only an hour and a half away. Yeah. Tune in for our trip to Canes in Mississippi. All right, y'all, we just passed a sign for the Helen Keller birthplace. Historic district. And historic district of Tuscumbia. So this is very exciting. I literally have no idea what to expect. But, you know. There's a Tuscumbia water tower. Wow, amazing. I mean, I'll turn around. Plus to you. Wait, where? Was that it? Uh, it was no, I think side. now we, end, we just entered it, the we town. We just entered the town. Oh my god, wait, why is it exactly what I was expecting? Do you want me to turn around and show you, get the sign? Why, why are all of my Southern Belle dreams we coming can get true them right now? We can get them the way out. We are, we are, we are here. Look at this town, how cute. Oh, that's so cute, look at the little barber shop. Aww. Tuscumbia Flores. Oh. It's quite cute here. Helen Keller birthplace. Do you see the sign? I do. It's up ahead. Oh. Ooh. Exciting. Look at this cute little church. You can go as slow as you want to because in a town like this, you can take your damn time driving. Oh my god, this is adorable. Imagine that's just like where she was born and just sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> okay, listen, here's the thing. This is exactly like the movie that I had to watch in middle school. Oh my god, so many people are going. That's so funny. Or maybe they just live here. Or do you think we're all going to the same place? Oh my god. Stop. Oh wait, oh. you have to pay. It's fine. I don't care. College. College discount. Five dollars. My mom. Okay, y'all, that's where Helen Keller Wait, go, was born. Go take, run, should we take a picture of that sign, or do you think we have to go? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> that was <that's> it. it. <laughs> and they're closing. Dang it. <laughs> it's fine. I, I didn't think they were just gonna like, close the gate. I don't know, I thought we could have just like walked around, you know, but I guess. I guess not. Should I go left? Okay, no. so we got to Helen Keller's birthplace and it was yeah. closed. Left or straight? Uh, go straight. I so the lady we'll the lady kicked us out because they were closing. So that little clip of the house um, is all you're getting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> that was where Helen Keller was born. <laughs> Alright, got that movie. I don't know if anybody else had to watch that movie, The Miracle Worker. I like watched it in middle school and I don't know, it's like the that town was, was more of what I was expecting than the house. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the town almost looks more familiar than the house did. I don't know. So this is the courthouse. This is also like a little memorial for soldiers and stuff, Um, but yeah. They have a really pretty courthouse. Like, it's kind of cute. Nice, I'm so bummed that they closed. I would have never thought that they closed at four o'clock, but I mean, go I off, We probably should have looked that up. We probably oh, should have, see, left. this is what I'm saying. We needed to plan this out, like, slightly no. better. Yes, and the little town is just so cute here. It's like what you think of when you think of small town. There's like a barber shop, a florist. Yeah, house. like, it's like, definitely what you think of when you think small town, for sure. Yeah. Looks like it. That light looks on. So we just learned she was not even buried here. She's buried at the She's Washington National Cathedral in DC. Yeah, which is like kind of important. So yeah, I don't really know what we're doing here then. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. We're gonna. I bet there's like a. There's gotta be like a statue. Let's look up like visit Tuscumbia. It probably comes up as the house. We really should have planned this better. That's the lesson that I've learned. Oh, so, right now Madeline's reading all the places we could go. Madeline, where did you say we could go? The Alabama Music Hall of Fame is here, but unfortunately, it's closed. There is a park. Helen Let's Keller's go to the park. park. Please. It's called Spring it's Park. Closed. Spring Park. You want to tell me how to get park. there? Spring Park. Just plug it in. All right, Spring Park. Let's... Yeah, it looks really nice. All right, let's do it. We'll do that, and then we'll go to uh, Frosty Inn. Frosty Inn to get a milkshake, and then we'll skeeter back to Tuscaloosa. Well, this did not go as planned. <laughs> the, you put on your story, <laughs> this was where Helen Keller was born. That's it. 
that's the story. Is it someplace I would come back? Maybe it's not. possible, but probably not. Unless I really wanted to see what was inside of that house. <laughs> Which like part of me is a little it. curious, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna say that I'm not thinking about it. Don't lie. Like, Don't are none of you like a little bit curious? I mean, I'm a little curious, but not as curious as you seem. <laughs> like, oh I'm gosh. a little bit well, curious. The water tower says oh. Tuscumbia, home of Helen Keller. Uh, <laughs> birthplace. Oh, birthplace sorry. of Helen Keller. Sorry. I love this nice. for them. At least it's well, okay. We tried. We we're tried tra it. We're traveling. We're, we're okay. giving them some business. <laughs> Bugs everywhere. There are bugs everywhere. What is this of Madeline? Tell us. It's a Trail of Tears Memorial. It's not Helen Keller. Trail of Tears Memorial. Wow. <laughs> Madeline, tell us what this is. It's the world's largest man made natural stone waterfall to be known in existence. So that over there is the world's largest man-made natural stone waterfall. <laughs> See, we did not just come here for Helen Keller, we came for the, the waterfall. waterfall. I don't know, I thought this trip was overall 10 out of 10. Either way. 10 out of 10 recommend. Like, I'm really Do glad. You that when you were like, like the reviews when you were younger on like, like the e Eoses or something. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend. I still say that. So like, rip me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's pretty and I think it's nice and I had fun today. Do you have fun, Ava? I had so much fun. It was such a good bonding experience it for really the three was. of us. So I had fun. Okay, so the building you just got, oh my god. Okay, so the building you guys just saw, the Frosty Inn, um, we're pulling off to get some food here because it looks so cute. So I'm very excited. And yeah, we'll let you know how it is. Hello vlog, we are literally in a parking lot full of Alabama locals, but, so I know I'm getting judged hard right now because this is the most New York thing I could possibly do. But we went to this cute place, Frosty Inn. It is so cute and old fashioned inside. Have you watched Riverdale? Yes, it reminds Pop's me of Chocolate Riverdale. Shop. The pop chocolate shop there. Yes, Ava, you're correct. I just got a grilled cheese and a peanut butter shake. So here's my grilled cheese and peanut butter shake. They didn't cut it, which is like kind of funny to me. But I'm kind of curious. I got a grilled cheese too. Madeline got a buffalo. No barbecue. Oh barbecue mm -hmm. sandwich. Is it good? Uh huh. I just wasn't that hungry. This is delicious. It is a good grilled cheese. Oh, what did yeah. you get? Butter pecan. Butter so I'm pecan. Like an old woman. I got a peanut butter shake and it's really good. Oh, it's really hot. This fry looks so good and crispy. I wish it would like focus on the fry. <laughs> Look at how crispy and good. <laughs> This fry looks, oh my God. Vlog, that was like the cutest place ever. Madeline made a good point. She said it's like probably about 60 years old. Why is my camera not focusing, wait. That place that we just went to was established in 1960. So that place that we just went was 61 years old. It had so much character though. It was like the cutest little place ever. It was so old fashioned. It's like straight out of a movie. Like if you were watching like an old like Nice. Or no, I guess 60s movie. Like that's what mm -hmm. would be in it. No, literally. No, I agree with you. I don't know. I just thought it was so cool that like it. What are the odds that that changed like at all? Really? Do you think? Not, not none. None. 
I, the chairs literally looked like they were from the 60s, I swear. They had a payphone inside. They literally had a payphone where you could like insert coins and like call someone. But it wasn't even like the like the like normal payphone. It was like the one they like you know when you were younger and you wanted like the old phone where you like the dial thing. Mm -hmm. Did it like, have a dial? Yeah, it had a dial. I thought it did. It was the cutest thing. They had the payphone. They still had like the wood paneling on the walls inside and like oh, uh, it was just so cute. I loved it. I had a lot of fun today. I feel like we had a really fun adventure. 10 out of 10 for <laughs> Um, Yeah, so if you're seeing this video, this is a sign to go on a spontaneous adventure with your friends.